For the next few minutes, I invite you to watch a short video to introduce you to our Legacy of Hope Capital Campaign. The video was produced in early 2019 before the pandemic began. While partners and charities are crucial to operational support, particularly during this pandemic, Legacy of Hope is endowing parishes and programs for the future when we can look beyond the pandemic. So thank you. May God keep you and your loved ones safe. I look at New England, and the faith of the church in New England as a sleeping giant, that it really needs to be reawakened, reinvigorated with the good news of the, of the gospel. And every single parish has something that has to be attended to. This is a new set of stairs right here that I'm sitting on. If you just look over to that side, you see that those stairs need to be replaced as well. Not an expensive job, but when you don't have it, you have to let it go. I can't keep this place going by myself. It takes a team. You have priests who are up in their age. Many of them are their 90s, upper 80s. Many have no one. We take care of one another. It's in our Catholic schools that we not only educate children's minds, but we also help to form them. Last year we fed over 6,200 people. They need to be fed. Nobody, we live in a country where we are so blessed. Nobody should ever go to bed hungry. Jesus lives in my life. He lives in my heart. He is me. I, and I am his eyes and his ears and his legs and his hands. And this is my job. This is what he's asked me to do. The bell tower was completed in 1889 and has stood proudly and wonderfully, but now it's showing additional wear and tear and it needs some pointing, it needs some attention for structure. I really hope the driving force behind this campaign will be embracing the gospel and becoming what Pope Francis has called us to be, missionary disciples. Legacy of Hope is a $32 million capital campaign within the Diocese of Worcester. Each parish will have its own unique fundraising goal. This campaign builds upon the strong foundation set in place two decades ago by Forward in Faith. There are six objectives for Legacy of Hope. The first is to strengthen our parishes. 40% of all funds generated up to the targeted goal come back to the parishes. The life of the parishes, this is where the church happens for people. We're sitting on pews right now, and I'm surprised it's still standing because we don't have the middle support right here. They're scratched up, they're broken, they're 100 years old. You know, we're, we're a small parish. We, we have very limited means, but it allows us to participate in the life and the future of the diocese. In 2018, the Diocese of Worcester had more than 50 retired priests, with many more expected to retire in the near future. A retirement endowment fund has gone a long way toward caring for the aging clergy, but in recent years it's been falling short, some years, by nearly a million dollars. An additional $12 million investment in the Priest's Retirement Endowment Fund will help address the shortfall and better prepare us for retired priests of the future. They baptized in us. Name of the Father. They married our parents. They were there when our folks were dying. Our retired priests have spent their life in service of the Lord and of the church. You never retire for the priesthood as such. You're always a priest right to the end, you know? You just provide what families would provide. There's no one else to do that. The health care is more complex. Uh, it's more costly. Jesus is kind of like a role model. It's a mission. This is where I should be. I'm blessed beyond measure to be where I am. Our main goal is to touch each one with the love of God. You've taught me how to make ground turkey into like shipping. everything. <laughs> everything, you know, and it just helped us. And look at where I came. I met my husband and I'm going to college. You know, we're just a little spoke on the wheel, but it takes a lot of spokes and you make a wheel. And that's basically how we look at it. People come from all over to this one church. We provide urgent care. We have an OB on staff. We have pediatricians. Uh, we provide immunizations. I remember my first, the first day I ever volunteered here, we saw between 80 and 90 patients. It's huge. It's much bigger than I ever would have expected. I didn't know that how, you know, lucky we were, but also I didn't know that, you know, this population was really in need and, and, and sometimes in crisis. If we weren't here, they wouldn't be able to get the help that they need.
people have to be touched. The whole message of the gospel is people were touched by Jesus. My vision of evangelization is to challenge people to share the gift of faith with others. And that happens primarily in the families, in neighborhoods, in the parishes. The key to evangelization is communication. There is no shortage of ideas, programs, opportunities. When it comes to evangelization, the sky is the limit. This is the very center of the diocese. So when the multitudes gather, and they do here at the cathedral every year, we have upwards to 80,000 people who gather here. I want people to know they are welcome here at any time, that this is their church. It's everyone's church. It's a rock. But this rock needs some work. In addition to the structural concerns of the bell tower, the pews haven't had attention in more than a half century. They'll be rescued with a makeover, and the gathering space for the diocese will continue hosting the faithful for generations to come. These building blocks of our campaign are crucial. The important thing is to think about how important our faith is to us and what is this next generation going to do if we don't impart that faith on them. People want to have a sense of being part of the future. Well, you know, it's very important that the whole diocese get behind this campaign because we are all one family, you see. We've got to rev up. This is time we pitch in and to really make the life of the Diocese of Worcester vibrant and as a sort of beacon of hope.